To make a printable image in your Cricut Design Space, you're going to upload your image into your work area here. And as you see, there are all of my layers on this side panel. So for a printable image, we don't want all of these layers. We want to flatten them into one image. So what you're gonna do is highlight the entire design, every element, you can even make sure you have them all highlighted here. And then you are going to click flatten. And as you see, all of my layers are now gone and this image is ready to be printed. So what you're gonna do next, oops, sorry about that. So I'm gonna make this 10 inches, but I'm going to show you. So it's too large. Uh, for printable images, it needs to be nine and a quarter inch. So if I shrink that back down and then click make it, it will put it onto a mat here to be printed out in my printer. I will then hit continue. Okay, so I went ahead and moved my computer closer to my printer and I hooked it all up here. So next I'm just going to load my printable HTV into my HP Envy photo printer with the, uh, the backing facing up, sorry. <laughs> okay, so from there, I'm gonna go ahead and click continue. Okay, next you're going to hit send to printer. You're gonna click use system dialog. And if you see here, it says after clicking print, your print dialog may appear behind your design. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit print and move this out of the way. This is gonna pop up. You're gonna change this to photo paper and then you're gonna click print. Alrighty, now that our design is all printed out, we are going to go ahead and put it onto our mat. So these black lines are very important. This tells your Cricut what it needs to cut around. It's like a guide so it knows where the design is. So you're gonna place your printed image on your mat with the printed image side up. I'm gonna go ahead and insert that. I'm gonna press my arrow here. Okay, as you can see, I have my material set to iron on. And the next thing to do, move this out of the way, is just to click that flashing C. Now that our design has finished cutting, we're going to remove it from our machine and I'm just going to peel this off ever so gently. All right, then the next step is to remove them.
life. Just like that.